Hello everyone. So today is 19th of August and I am going to give you another update uh, from my balcony garden. So we will start with this sorry. We will start with this pot which is uh, of bean plant and I grow so many plants together. So <laughs> I will show them one by one. You might have seen my balcony beans uh, and harvest videos. I upload them very frequently right now because I am getting so much beans here. And sometimes I even forget to uh, take them and uh, they become very big. But uh, anyways, it's very tasty. So with this bean plant, there is one kohlrabi plant. Um, and... Um, this is uh, Ischnitlauk. It, it is called Ischnitlauk in German and in English it is called chives. So um, this plant is has gotten very big and I am thinking that I am going to make uh, so harvest this plant and um, um, usually this is used as a herbs in salads and other stuff but um, I am thinking that I will make parathas out of, uh, of this and uh, then there are some salad plants which are not in their prime and um, I harvested so much salad from that. This is the pride of our garden. This is the biggest one bean plant in my garden and it looks so beautiful. It has given me, it has even so many branches here, you see. And now at this moment I want to show you how the... Uh, flower of beans look like it looks like this basically there are two kind of bean plants um, one is called bush beans another is called the climbing beans this one is the climbing variety and I always prefer to grow climbing variety because it, it gives you very abundant harvest then hopelessly and very late I uh, saw some uh, peas uh, seeds and now these are getting bigger coriander and some oats I don't know from where the seed came out this one is calendula so uh, if you don't know calendula is a yellow flower and uh, it has uh, so much uh, medicinal properties especially in hom homeopathy calendula is um, used a lot this is a strawberry plant and uh, you see how big are uh, these strawberries and now they are uh, this uh, this thing is called strawberry creepers you can just plant it anywhere it has roots too and um, then you can grow your own strawberries so i don't want to propagate this strawberry plant so much so i am going to give away these uh, plantlets to my friends these are my herb plants so this one is uh, thyme and this one is oregano which I use time to time it also has another bean plant which is not growing very well and uh, one portulico plant wa was also there but uh, that is also not growing very well and coriander everywhere is uh, going to seed and seeding this is my summer bulb and, uh, pot and uh, it doesn't ha it has only have one flower but um, th these are i think uh, gladiolus and this one is dahelia cactus dahelia this is another strawberry hanging pot and uh, if you don't strawberries are of two types um imaltragen and um monads ad and so so in German it is called. So Imaltragen means uh, it's forever growing. So basically it's not growing forever. It is not. Uh, it it only gives you uh, fruits um, from June or July to August. So this one is uh, basically in other other variety, which is called June bearing in English, and um, it only gives you very sweet and very beautiful soft fruits in the month of June. And the other variety, the hanging pot that I showed you is uh, of the other variety which is uh, Imaltragen or forever uh, fruiting strawberries and um, they give fruit till October but the fruits are not so sweet in comparison to June bearing strawberries. So here is another impatience plant 
and um, this year I and grew so many flowers another strawberry pot and uh, to the next pot uh, I have another kohlrabi plant and um, these salad plants I always keep harvesting the salad leaves and uh, when it is so much heat the uh, the sorry salad leaves go to flowering which is what happening here and uh, the salad leaves become um, bitter uh, sorry bitter uh, so that's why I don't use them anymore in a salad I am just waiting to grow other plants to grow it here so uh, this uh, year I am going to um, skip totally uh, October uh, harvest or autumn harvest. So what I am going to do is, uh, and these are the seeds of, uh, so these are the uh, sprouts of kale. And I am planning to uh, grow kale in this winter. And that's why I created so many plants and uh, when these plants will be gone and uh, harv harvest will be over and uh, these plants will um, these um, kale plant will grow bigger and i am going to move them to my balcony tower and to the pots and these are basically two varieties curly leaves kale and dragon kale and uh, they are very different in structure you are going to see it uh, later uh, when these plants will grow and um, the thing with ke uh, kale is that it can survive uh, in winter and it will give you harvest till until the month of uh, february or march so it is the best thing to grow in the winter gardens that's why i'm growing it right now this is mint and here is this beautiful plant which is called xanthodesia or in english it is called kela lily so now it is going to have flowers too see this other one this plant and so this flower is very big and it is having more buds and i planted them in pots uh, in winter i will take them inside these are my chrysanthemus uh, flowers and they are very beautiful keep growing and uh, it's the best thing to have in my garden right now. I just love them so much. So many colors and how beautiful it looks like. From the down when you see up, you see and, uh, and like a um, very beautiful um, we, we has, um, very beautiful bunch of uh, flowers from the down. And, uh, and the sunflowers are also very beautiful and you can see them from the ground and this is the part of my balcony where i even don't know that how many plants are there but i am going to show you them and uh, so behind this plant is basically a chili plant and the chilies are growing it's flowering this one is uh, a flower plant i forgot the name See here are my tomatoes. These are the cherry tomatoes, balcon window variety. And here are bigger tomatoes. So you see, um, it's hiding there. So soon we will be able to harvest so many tomatoes from here. These are basil leaves. This is jasmine. Another chili plant. These one are eggplants, or aubergine, a brinjal. Again, this is the three sister gardening concept where I grew some sunflowers to give support to bean plants, and I also grew some squashes around that. So, you see here, some beans are climbing on the sunflower plants. And uh, I harvested beans also from these plants. It's growing great. Now these are the cucumbers. You see the small ones are forming. 
and um, they are basically pickling cucumber they grow uh, in abundance from the end of spring these uh, stiff mutation or uh, stepmothers in english and basically in english it is called pansy and in german it is called stiff mutation or uh, stepmothers but from the end of um, um, spring um, these plants are just growing growing and they are the proud of my balcony garden this one is called topinambo or um, what what does it call um, in english it is called something artichoke but it is not the artichoke plant so basically this is um, um, a root that you can eat and um, the flowers uh, and the flowers are just like sunflowers so i think they are going to grow some flowers here these are wallet potato plants and uh, i hope some wallet potatoes are growing in this bucket and then also it has some flowers inside i put this orchid plant and um, i just love the flowers when um, when is, there is a snow outside or when there is winter so for that uh, this orchid plant is uh, very useful so there are an, more cucumber and you can see the female flower of cucumber and the male one and basically when there are so many flowers and actually due to uh, my three sister gardening concept so many insects come to my garden so um, i don't worry about the pollinators now and this also have some squashes which are growing here and there for example here you see one bottle guard is growing i think it's the bottle guard still there is no flower and i literally lost the track of my plants there behind there is one more pot in which some bitter gourd and other gourds are growing so i don't know if i'm going to get any harvest this year but let's cross the finger and pray to god maybe we will get something this is my corn plant sweet corn and uh, i think i'm going to get get a fruit here let's see let's wait so this is a pumpkin plant and you might tell me that um, you are growing so many plants together in such a small space um, but uh, I don't find it uh, really bad um, I think that when plants grow together this is how mother nature want them to grow they grow together with a symbiosis they share their nutrients and um, they get and they can conserve water in their roots and give them to other plants i don't know but i find it uh, very interesting when uh, all plants are growing together so that's why i grow them like that so my dear friends thank you for watching this video till the end and you keep smiling like this sunflower always we will meet again with a new video and um, i will tell you more about my adventures and experiments that i am doing so that's all bye bye don't forget to subscribe